guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the second day of my Venus Palette Resurrection Week. Um, something I wanted to run by you guys real quick because I, you know, I, I don't, I'm just not sure you'll have to let me know in the comments. Um, if you want me to include the Venus 2 palette in this week. Um, I know that this palette was mainly, or this week was mainly gonna be about the truly dead Venus palette. <laughs> the palette that's just been slaughtered by every other warm tone palette in the industry. <laughs> I did a palette resurrection video with the Venus 2 and I'll link that here and if you want to check it out and see if maybe you want to see like more like that included in this week then let me know. Um, if you want me to just kind of focus on this palette this week then that's perfectly fine too. Just be sure to let me know in the comments and um, today I'm going to do this look. It's a little bit more fancy than what I'm used to. I don't usually do like such like pretty looks but I kind of want to include some different looks with this palette because I know everybody has a different style and I mean I still love this look don't get me wrong it's just a little bit a little bit different than what I would normally do so um yeah uh, let's go ahead and get started I'm going to start by taking that tapered fluffy brush the Morphe M576 and I'm taking that burnt orange shade called creation in the palette and I'm just going to blend that through my crease and on the outer part of my eye just keeping it on the outer I don't know, outer two thirds of my eye. I'm not getting it too close to the inner part of my eye though. That, I just, the inner corner, I wanna leave blank. Then I'm going into the shade Muse, which is that burgundy shade. I'm taking that little Morphe M506 mini tapered blending brush and I'm packing that onto the outer corner and then I'm blending out the edges and then packing it on and blending out the edges and just repeating that until it's as deep as I would like it to be. Then I'm actually gonna shape it and I'm just following the shape of my bone structure. Like I'm basically shading where my natural shadow is and now I'm looking down into the light so that I can see where my natural shadow wants to go and then I'm taking that red shade right into my natural shadow, if that makes sense. I'm just doing some additional blending. Then I'm gonna go into the shade Aura, which is that really pale yellow shimmer shade. I'm packing that with my finger onto my inner lid here. I'm just blending out the edges after I'm done with that. Then I'm going back into creation with that MAC 217 and I'm just going around the edges where I had initially put the transition shade down just to make sure everything's blended out. Then I'm going into icon which is that dark matte brown shade in the palette and I'm taking that mini blending brush again and packing that into the outer corner just a tiny bit. I just want to add a little dimension, not really so much color. And then I'm going back in with Muse and I'm putting, putting that on my lid and then blending it back out and just redoing what I blended away. I'm just working on my shape a little more, making sure the edges are blended out. I go back and forth between both eyes quite a bit here until I have them matching shape-wise and color-wise. For foundation, I'm gonna use the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. And I used to really like this foundation. And lately, like this, when I recently repurchased it, it kind of smells weird. It's like, it smells bad. I don't remember it smelling bad. Let me know if you have it and if your smells bad too. Going in with a concealer, just taking that Real Techniques Dome Shadow Brush to paint that on in any areas I want to add a little bit more coverage. I've been trying not to use so much coverage lately, so I'm just using kind of a fluffy brush to buff that in as opposed to pack it on too heavily. I'm also using it to shape my eyeshadow. If you can see, I'm kind of cleaning up under my eye and then shaping it and following that shape that I've got there already. Making sure I've got that angle right. Then I'm putting highlighter on the, or I'm putting concealer on the parts of my face where I want to highlight just a little bit or just add a little bit more, I don't know, volume to my face. The outer corner of my mouth, I usually put some concealer around my nose, on my chin, 
And I'm setting that with a Kat Von D blotting powder in the shade light I'm using an e.l.f. highlighting brush. I'm just going to set the parts of my face where I put that concealer mainly. I'll set the rest of my face with a different powder. Then I'm going to take that Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Ethereal Light. I'm taking that Real Techniques Bold Metals Powder Brush and I'm going to set the rest of my face lightly. Basically just enough to blend powder on top of it. I don't want a super powdery look on my face. Finishing up the eyes real quick, I'm going to go back into that Burnt Orange shade Creation. Taking that mini blending brush again and just blending that under my eye following the shape on my upper lid. I'm just following that same winged shape I've got going on there. Making sure it's consistent. Not being shy about how far down I drag that eyeshadow. Then I'm gonna go into the shade Muse, which is that burgundy shade. Taking an e.l.f. smudge brush and smudging that onto the outer part of my eyelid. And this is the step, in my opinion, that just kind of brings the entire look together. I'm going to highlight my inner corner with that Aura shade, which is that pale yellow shimmer. I'm going to highlight both inner corners as well as almost like the inner part of the bridge of my nose, like, or the side of my nose. I don't know. I'm bringing that pretty far in. Then I'm going to line my waterline as well as my upper tight line. I'm going to line my entire waterline with this like black coal pencil. Then I'm going to take this Cap on D eyeliner pen. This is the one in Trooper, like the popular one. And I'm going in between all of my eyelashes. I'm making sure that I'm kind of digging that into my lash line and filling in every single gap that I see between my eyelashes. So it's kind of tedious. It doesn't take too long though. I'm making a tiny, tiny line right on top of my lashes. But I don't want to take it too far up. I'm basically just coating my entire lash line. And what that's going to do is it's almost going to make it, it's almost going to look like a lash band, but it's going to make my eyelashes look a lot longer. Like it almost makes your lashes, it almost makes you look like you're wearing fake lashes. And it just does a really, it just shapes your eye. As you can see, those are my real lashes. It looks like I have on a lash band. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to bronze with a Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I'm just trying to use it up at this point. <laughs> then I'm going to take this blush that was discontinued. It's like an old Maybelline, I think, Master Highlight Blush. Um, I'm just trying to use it up. It's like a peachy bronze shade. And it got a little too crazy, so I went back over it with that Hourglass Powder. And I'm just going to highlight my nose and my cupid's bow, my chin, with the Moonstone by Becca highlight. I'm not going to highlight my cheeks because that blush pretty much had highlight in it already. For lips, I'm going to do a lip gloss. This is the NYX Intense Butter Gloss in the shade Cinnamon Bun. And that's the finished look. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to let me know if you want me to include the second Venus palette in this week, and I will do that. I can do you know, a video with that, a couple videos with that, a video or two with both palettes. I mean, it's, it's totally, just let me know, okay? Anyway, I hope you did like this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber and you wanna be, just hit the subscribe button on your way out, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, guys.